Hi, and welcome back to Whiskey and Watches with Nick. Today we are reviewing, obviously, Knob Creek number no. 9, um, our first bourbon reviewed on this show, and probably my first proper uh, bottle of bourbon going into the warmer weather here in the northwestern U.S. Uh, this spring. First, quick watch check. So I knocked the bottle of whiskey over. Um, no good angle here. Uh, Orient Ray 2 Raven, one of my faves. Um, just a great, great casual kick around watch. Um, great bezel, fantastic bracelet, gorgeous dial. What's not to like about Orient? Anyway, what's not to like about Knob Creek? Let's find out. So Bluff, really there's not much to not like about it but it's not like an amazing whiskey either. So this is Knob Creek. Uh, it's a Beam Suntory uh, marquee. Uh, this is an age statement whiskey. It's their nine year. Uh, whiskey Advocate gave it a 92 this year, and I saw that and thought, gosh, you know, I just really need to try Knob Creek. I have a gap in my whiskey education that I hadn't tried it yet. And um, for 37 bucks at the local liquor store, you know, really, why not? Why not to try a 92-point whiskey? So, they are bottling this at 100 proof. Uh, that said, it's not overly hot. Uh, it's not like an overwhelming amount of ethanol going on here. But you definitely know you're not drinking an 80-proof whiskey. Or nosing an 80-proof whiskey. Keep your mouth open. Yeah, you know, a nice nose. A very, I would say, typically bourbonish nose. Uh, in a good way. Um, cola and cherries. The cherries could very well be in some kind of syrup. Maybe butterscotch. Maybe a, a custard or of some sort. I'm going to go with butterscotch, but not like the candies, like a, like a, a hot liquid butterscotch. If that even exists anymore, it's really all just corn syrup with artificial flavors and coloring and stuff in it nowadays, right? Anyways, proper butterscotch, possibly. Or again, possibly like a custard of some kind. Some nondescript dried fruit. Definitely some oak in there. Not overpowering, not, not grossing me out. I'm not a big oak fan. I always freak out when I have like an overly sherried, oaky scotch. Doesn't, doesn't sit well with me. Time to drink it. Mm. You know, the cherry cola, cherry cola, really carries over surprisingly far into the palate and finish. I was expecting that just to disappear on, on the mouth, but it doesn't. It's still there in a really qu quite pleasant way. A um, little bit of vanilla, a little bit more oak, touch of dryness. I read some reviews of this claiming they were getting some charred vanilla or sort of, you know, charred marshmallow flavors on the palate. And I would love to be experiencing that right now, but I'm not. Not a complex whiskey. I'm really kind of enjoying it. I like cherries and cherry cola flavors in whiskey. Um, but, you know, it's interesting that Whiskey Advocate gave us a 92 because to me, while it's obviously a very nicely made whiskey and obviously a quality product from a good distillery that does nice stuff in general, there's just really nothing that stands out about it. I mean, if I tasted this blind, I might just shrug and be like, I don't know, something from Brown Foreman. Maybe I'm drinking Old Forester 86. I don't know. Um, you know maybe I've got something from Woodford Reserve in my glass. I don't know. Those are not slights because I love the Brown Foreman stuff, and those are some of my favorite whiskeys, and we're going to be covering those a lot this summer. I'm just saying, nothing's jumping out at me about this. What's here is done well. I wish it were just done a little bit bigger, a little bit more pronounced. Anyway. That said, solidly an 87 or an 88, and I'm going to solidly enjoy the remainder of this class. Folks, thanks for joining me. 
Thanks for listening to me talk about whiskey. Thanks for listening to me babble about my watch at the beginning. These are the things I love and that I love to share with like all like two or three of you who've ever watched this channel. Stay happy, stay well, drink whiskey, love watches. See you next time.